Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my beauty room tour. I'm super excited. This was the second room in my house that I actually finished and it is right next to Max's bedroom. Um, I did something a little bit different but still kept the background that I had at my old house. Um, which I really, really loved. I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys preferred more of a, I guess like a relatable background as far as like you being able to see what's behind you rather than backdrops. And you guys all agreed 100% that you guys rather see a bedroom. So I will not only have one background for you guys, but I will have two. And I will show you guys the different sections where I will be recording and I just noticed that this room kind of echoes. I hope that it doesn't become a problem when I'm filming. The room is really small, which is something that I definitely liked. I have an office separate from my beauty room. So this room is strictly for me just getting ready and putting um, my videos out for you guys. I have all of my equipment in here, I have all of my makeup in here and my two backgrounds. So if you guys are interested on in seeing my beauty room tour, then just keep on watching. So right when you walk in, you will see my beauty room and I'll give you guys a little overview of what it looks like. Just so you guys can see, let me close the door because they are fixing the bathroom. So I don't want to have any noise, but I'll show you guys kind of what I have set up. That's like my work stuff. That's not important. So I will start, I'll start from this section so you guys can know. So. The door is right here to the room. Most of the house has carpet upstairs, but for my beauty room, I wanted to do floor. And that's just because a lot of makeup spills. I drop a lot of product and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure that it was easy for me to clean. In the closet is just a really small closet. And this is where I have my equipment. I wanted to have the closet area for my equipment. That way it stays away from the actual beauty room space so it can stay clean at all times. And obviously only when I'm filming, I will take the equipment off. So if you guys want a separate video of like what my setup looks like, then definitely let me know. I have my TV, I have my camera, I have my um, lens. I actually just purchased a new lens and it's the Sigma lens that like all the YouTubers use for that blurry background. So I'm so excited to use it. I have not tried it, but I know it's gonna make my videos look so bomb. I have a rack, so whenever I do like my hauls and stuff like that. And then I have a labeler right here because I'm actually gonna be adding labels to all of my makeup. So here in this little corner, well in this wall, this is going to be my second um, background. So this is kind of what I put together. I, it's kind of going to look like this just to give you guys an idea and then obviously when I'm recording the background's going to look a little bit blurry and there's going to be actual like set up maybe a plant right here or a candle lit up so it just looks obviously really nice in the back and it's not just like really plain. I got those two frames at Ikea and they were about $3 a frame and then the actual frame itself was about $6. Um, at ikea and then i put all of my makeup in these drawers here i decluttered all of my makeup so everything that i have here is stuff that i do plan on hopefully using like you guys know i do get pr packages so i have an excessive amount of makeup i'll kind of show you guys if you guys want a whole makeup collection video i would love to do that for you guys i have all of my foundations and concealers up on the top and my setting sprays and then I have like blushes, bronzers, palettes, stuff like that. And then I have more palettes. These are all like eyeshadow palettes. Up here we have just some single shadows. All of this is still in like in boxes because I'm getting some organizers sent to me. So waiting for those to arrive and some pencils. 
This one's like my favorite drawer. It's my lipstick drawer. So I have all of my liquid lipsticks. I have pencils and then I have more lipsticks here. You can see. I love these drawers because you actually can see to the back. They're not like the Ikea drawers that you would lose some space or you couldn't really put anything back there. You can literally go all the way to the back and grab whatever color you need. And then down here, I have glosses. So I have all of my glosses and then I ordered one more of these containers to add on this side so we can add, you know, side by side glosses. So that's kind of what my makeup collection is looking like at the moment and it worked perfect because now I just have a really nice and clean room. Got that at Target, just put my little name on there. And then here is my headbands that I'll be using for like my tutorials whenever I do do makeup tutorials or when I'm doing my makeup. This whole Ikea nine drawer is lashes. So I have a whole bunch of lashes and they're all pretty much filled with just a bunch of lashes all the way down. Okay, so now this little area of the room is where I will be getting ready. I have my desk, I have my Evetixo sticker. I do have some brushes here, I have a mirror from Ikea. And then all of these drawers are like my hair stuff. So I have, I don't know what that is, but I have like all of my hair stuff here. I have basically everything that I need to do my hair. Got this really nice chair. I actually got it on Amazon. It comes in a set of four, so I got one I got the whole set and then we put one in my room, we put one in Yvette's room, and then we put one, um, two of them in my office because my office desk, it's a really long desk that kind of like goes like this. So one section is gonna be for like Yvette to do her work and then one section is gonna be for me. So we put two down there, and then I have a trash can on the bottom. Then this is like my everyday makeup, what I use on a daily basis, my chopsticks. Um, my beauty blenders. This is how many beauty blenders I have left. Those are all the dirty ones. That's my makeup bag And then this right here is like everyday stuff like my primers my cotonetes my setting sprays um, some creams and Yeah, now this is going to be my main background. You guys must remember this This is the setup that I had at my old house, but in gold and white so like you guys know I wanted to do the whole black and white theme for my house and um, here in this little corner are just like products that they sent me that I'm gonna try that I haven't opened up so that's like my PR stuff and then the two stands I got them at Ikea they're about $40 a piece if I'm not mistaken and I just put decor up on here a little plant with a book my do you guys see this Ugh. so when I moved my plaques got all scratched up and I was so sad. Um, we did reach out to YouTube to see if they can resend my plaques for me because I'm a freaking dumbass and I didn't cover them with like bubble wrap when I put them in the box. So they got so jacked up. That's my life with the Vedic So 100 and that's my Vedic So one. This one's not that bad. Has a little bit of NYX, like one like right there. So yeah, that's kind of what happened. Um, all of the or like the decor I got that at Hobby Lobby. I got those on Amazon um, I got that at Hobby Lobby That's obviously from YouTube and then all that stuff. I honestly don't even remember. I got those two boxes From Amazon they not only do they look good But they can store stuff and your room won't look you know cluttered or anything So here like I put some of my favorite books at the moment Shit. So it just looks really nice on there I have some receipts and then um, I have a globe because I need to learn the world because I'm a little bit like I'm a little stupid sometimes <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of how we have that set up so like I said when I do my videos you guys are going to either see that background or you guys are going to see this background which I'm like super in love with and then I didn't even go through that that's like extra stuff like all of the enchufas and stuff that I have for my equipment extra storage of like frames and stuff like that. It's just like random shenanigans. And then up here is where I have all of my work, like my sponsored videos and stuff that needs to go up. And yeah, guys, this is the new beauty space. I really thought that was gonna be a longer video, but like I said, this space is a lot smaller than the last space that I did have, which um, I got rid of a lot of stuff when we moved, I told you guys. I got rid of like most of my furniture. I decluttered and gave away a lot of makeup. 
I got rid of a lot of shoes and clothes and just a bunch of stuff that I was kind of like, you know, because when you're on YouTube, companies send you stuff all the time. You know, they send you and 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 they send you. So it's like you can quickly become really, really, really cluttered and overwhelmed, you know, with all of the stuff that you get. And I was definitely becoming a hoarder. I was holding on to everything. I got rid of so much expired makeup. Um, my closet is no longer like a walk-in closet like it was before. It's, I mean, it's a walk-in closet, but it's not like a walk-in room like it was. Um, it's just a you know regular closet in a closet, not an actual whole room. So I had to make a lot of space. I had to, you know, basically downsize all of my wardrobe and downsize all of my shoes. I got rid of probably like a hundred pairs of shoes and, um, it felt good. It felt so good to just like declutter my life and you guys are going to see, you know, with the process of me showing you guys the rooms and stuff that I'm really trying to keep as little as possible in every room and I'm hoping that that's going to just kind of keep my life balanced and in order because my life was definitely a mess for the past couple of months. So yeah, that is my beauty room tour guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys all so much for watching and thank you guys all so much for the constant, constant support that I get on the daily basis. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys.